With the birth of Lion, it kind of changed my career path in a way that before he came, I was just kind of like, okay, I'm just gonna tattoo. I, I don't feel like I was really aimed at pushing myself to become you know, the best tattoo artist or anything. It was just kind of like a fun job and you know, there was so much pressure there because all the guys are just legends. So who, how am I gonna compete with that? When Lion came, it kind of put things in perspective that there is a road that I have to like follow with the destination. I can't just stray from here to there. I don't think I would have gone into tattooing if I didn't do it the right way, if I didn't learn under Mark and all the guys, that, you know, that I looked up to at Shamrock. I mean, Mark really gave me an opportunity to do this and he didn't give it to me for free. I had to work, you know, improve myself. And for two and a half to three years, I apprenticed at the shop. You know, I paid my dues, you know, cleaned up after the guys, cleaned their tubes, cleaned their equipment, set up, put up with a bunch of abuse, even though I know it's mostly out of love, but you know, it was, it was a test. I don't want to ever do anything in life that was unauthentic. I want to earn every bit of respect if it's something that I'm into. So Mark had kind of made the single needle style tattooing more known to the world. People weren't really aware that you could get a bird. It didn't have to be the traditional sparrow. It could be an, a bird with feathers and markings on its face. And it didn't have to be that big or that bold. You can make it nice and small and it will heal all right over time. So that kind of changed the game for me because people didn't have to get married to the idea of getting a big bold tattoo and that's their only option. If you wanted something small and graceful, you can. And something a little more subtle, you can. With tattooing, it's not all about technique and the actual process of how good you are at making this tattoo look real or come to life. Because there's tattooers out there that are amazing that make me want to quit every time I see like a tattoo they do. Because they're so good. And I'm not, I don't, I, I can look at tattoos and be like, I'll never do one like that. I'll never be able to. But coming up in the shop, you know, I learned there's more to the technical stuff. There's also style. Developing my own style is important. And I think I'm getting there. I'm starting to like chip away at this mountain of actually having an identifiable brand or of tattoo. In, in my brain, I still look, feel as like I'm an apprentice too. As long as I work under Mark and Freddie, and I'm always still going to be learning. It's weird because I don't really see where my tattooing will be five to ten years. I kind of see where my family will be, or where my kids will be. And however that is decided is where I'll be, you know. I mean, you really know when you you love doing something if you ever questioned never doing it. I mean, I've got pushed to the point where I was like, fuck, I don't know if I keep doing this, this is crazy, but I didn't decide to quit. I, I was like, no, this is what I want to do, so I kept doing it. A lot of people want to harp on that, like, oh, you're so, you know, you're this many followers now, blah, blah, and people like to think, okay, now you're selling out and all that kind of stuff, but opportunities are there. You know, I have a family and I have a vision of where I want to take my career in life and, you know, I feel like I've earned the right to, to take that wherever the fuck I want to take it, you know.